Sure. So um, my name is Steve Hardy. Um, I work primarily on the Triple O project, um, which is an OpenStack deployment project. Um, what makes Triple O interesting is it uses OpenStack components primarily in order to deploy production of OpenStack Cloud. So it uses uh, OpenStack Ironic to do the bare metal provisioning. It uses heat orchestration in order to drive the configuration workflow. And uh, we also recently started using Mistral, which is the OpenStack workflow component. Um, so it's kind of different from some of the other deployment um, initiatives. Um, and it's a nice feedback loop where we're making use of the OpenStack services in the deployment tooling as well as in the deployment plan. Um, so, uh, yeah, this last couple of cycles we've been working towards um, more composability. And uh, that basically means uh, allowing operators more flexibility in terms of service placement um, and also allowing them to define um, groups of nodes uh, in a more flexible way such that you can either specify different configurations, um, perhaps you've got multiple types of hardware for different uh, compute configurations for Nova, or perhaps you want to embed a scale of uh, services um, into multiple groups of uh, clusters for, let's say, uh, database or specific um, OpenStack services. Um, and so it's basically about giving operators more choice and flexibility in terms of how they deploy their, their architecture. So upgrades have long been a pain point. Um, I understand there's some improvement in this cycle there as well. Yeah, so having delivered um, composable services and composable roles for the new OpenStack release, uh, the next big challenge was having given operators the flexibility to effectively deploy services on arbitrary nodes within your uh, uh, OpenStack environment. You need some way to upgrade and uh, you can't necessarily make assumptions about which services are running on which groups of nodes. And so we've uh, implemented a new feature which is uh, called Composable Upgrades, and that basically uses some heat functionality combined with Ansible tasks in order to allow a very flexible, uh, dynamic definition of um, what upgrade um, actions need to take place when you're upgrading specific groups of nodes within your environment. Um, so that's uh, part of the new Mercator release. Uh, and it's going to hopefully provide a, a better upgrade experience and um, end-to-end upgrades for uh, all of the OpenStack services that Triple supports. It was a very short cycle. Did you uh, get done what you wanted to get done, or are things pushed off to Pike now? Yeah, so I think there's a few remaining um, improvements around uh, operator-driven upgrades, um, which we will be uh, looking at during the Pike cycle. And certainly it has been a bit of a challenge with the, with the short development time frame. Carter, but um, the, the architecture has landed and we've got composable um, upgrade support um, for all the services which are in the triple E templates tree. Um, so I feel like we've, uh, yeah, we've basically done uh, what we set out to do within this cycle and then there's going to be further improvements around uh, operator driven um, uh, upgrade workflow and also containerization um, at the Python frame. Now, this week we're at the PTG and uh, have you already? had your team meetings or are they still to come? So the, the triple O team meetings will start uh, tomorrow, um, which is Wednesday. Uh, the previous two days have mostly been uh, cross-project discussions, some of which are um, related to collaborations which may impact triple O in the future. So it's been very interesting to get the triple O uh, schedule starts tomorrow, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Um, we've got a fairly, uh, fairly packed agenda, which is going to focus around uh, primarily the next steps for upgrades, uh, containerization, and ways that we can actually collaborate more closely with some of the other development projects within the OpenStack community. Is, is Kala something that is that Triple O uses to, to deploy, or is that is that completely unrelated? So, um, while the two projects are collaborating, um, uh, Kala uh, provides uh, a number of uh, a number of components. One, which is the container definitions um, for the, the OpenStack services themselves, and the containerized Triple O architecture actually consumes those. Um, those, those Docker containers. Um, there are some other pieces uh, which are, are different between the two projects. We use Heat um, in order to deploy or uh, orchestrate the container, um, the container deployment, um, and then there are efforts around um, uh, Ansible and Kubernetes on the, on the collar side where we're having discussions around potential for future collaboration. There's a session planned uh, on our agenda for uh, uh, a meeting between the, you know, the core Kubernetes folks and the, and the AAA folks to figure out whether there's long-term scope for collaboration there. But at the moment, um, there's good collaboration around the container definitions, and we're just orchestrating uh, deploying those containers in a slightly different way. Yeah. Well, to, uh, yeah, to 
to see what happens in the next couple of days' discussion and uh, yeah, getting on with the work we have planned. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Rich.